Hello and welcome to Programming Knowledge. So in today's video, you will be learning about stack plots. Stack plots are also called as area plots. So let's get started. Area plots are pretty much similar to the line plot. These plots can be used to track changes over time for two or more related groups that make up one whole category. For example, let's compile the work done during a day by a student. So we'll go in our uh, project and we'll create a new Python file. So we'll give our name, Python file name as stack underscore plot. And then we'll press OK. And we'll copy some starting code from the stack plots uh, from PyChart actually. That is importing the numpy as np and uh, from matplotlib import pyplot as prt. Then we'll use the style uh, 538. And then we'll copy the plot.show and uh, grid functions. Or we'll remove the title for now. Okay. So, so let's go in data.py. So we have a file list here, so we'll copy them and we'll paste it here. Okay, so we'll just plot them using pie chart. So we had already done in the last video lecture. So in the pie function, we'll pass a list. So how many uh, list we want to show? So we have four, so we'll type one comma, one comma, one comma, one comma then uh, we'll close the list and uh, we'll pass the labels for for the list so first is eat then second one is sleep okay uh, okay the second one is actually study then uh, we'll close that and we'll remove the extra inverted comma then we have code and then sleep so i will just uh, remove the comma and uh, i have to uh, place the code in front of sleep actually so we'll paste it here and we'll do comma and we'll remove the extra commas now okay so this will plot a normal pie chart so i will show you why i'm plotting this so we'll type pat dot title so in that title we'll give as pie chart okay we'll make that h okay and then we run, we will run this so for that uh, we will right click and we will run stack plots ok so the normal pie chart will give you 4 quarters with study, eat, sleep and code but uh, this is like uh, so what if you want to show data for 5 days in a continuous manner so we can't show that actually using pie chart so for that we will use this stack plot particularly so here you can see for a particular day one, a particular student will have one hour of eating and uh, eight hours of studying, six hours of coding, nine hours of sleep. So like that we have five consecutive days. So you can see second day he has three, three hours of eating, five hours of study, code for eight hours and sleep for eight hours like that so what we will do we will remove the pi function so we will type plt dot stack plot we will open the parenthesis so inside that we will pass our list so our first list we want to show is days actually so you can see the data in the eat we have actually our in data is increasing in study list and in sleep so what we will do, we will pass first uh, days as a parameter to stack plot. So this is a list. Then we will pass 8, then we will pass study, then code and then sleep. Okay, so that is enough and we will change the title as stack plot. Okay, stack plot. And now we'll right click and we'll run the file. So if we run it now, it will load. You can see that it is showing us 
the data for five consecutive days on x-axis we have days and on y-axis we have hours so you can see we have not given the labels actually so we are not finding uh, which one is what so you can see the we will just uh, close it and we will just uh, put the labels now so we will create a list for labels so type labels equal to so we will open the square brackets and we will pass the string first label is eat for our first list then we have sleep not sleep actually we have study then uh, third one is code and then the fourth one is sleep so we'll pass these labels in the stack plot as parameters so labels equal to labels that is our uh, list and if we run it now so before running we'll type plt.legend so this is very much important so what this will do this will uh, print the labels on the screen so that we can find it as which color is pertain pertaining to which uh, particular label so you can see blue is for eat then uh, orange is for study and on y axis we can see the hours and x axis we have days okay so we have then blue color we have this uh, eight which is actually decreasing in in middle for third day it was like four or five hours and then the study you can see it is uh, increasing in the order and the code is actually decreasing till we reach the fifth day and the student is actually getting more sleep by the end of the fifth day so you can find it okay so another thing is we can change the location of the stack plot uh, legend so we'll type uh, in the legend LOC equal to where we want to show that so we'll type upper left so upper space left so this is a string that we have to pass in the location LOC variable in the legend function so you can see the location of the legend is uh, changed now and it is at the upper left corner okay so now what we'll do is we'll create one more list for colors here you can pass hex code also that is hexadecimal codes and also the short form or short uh, characters so we have m for magenta c for cyan r for red and uh, k for black this i already showed you in my earlier videos you can uh, refer them so we'll pass that uh, list as colors equal to colors in the stack plot function so we'll remove the extra spaces white spaces and uh, we'll run, run it again we'll run it again okay we'll also put uh, tight layout just in case for nice padding so plt dot tight layout okay so now we'll right click here and we'll run it again so here you can see our chain colors are changed and it looks really nice now really vibrant okay so Magenta is the eight uh, eating hours. Cyan is the study hours. Orange, orange or kind of red is uh, coding hours, and we, we have black for sleeping hours. But you can see our uh, legend is little bit uh, off the grid. It is little bit getting outside, so we can fix that. So what we have to do is in our uh, legend. For LOC variable, we'll remove that string, and instead of that, we'll pass a tuple. So, how you create a tuple? We have to just open and close the parentheses, and inside that, we have to pass the x and y coordinates or percentage uh, by which we want to shift the legend. So, we'll pass so 0 0.06. That is not actually six percent that is 0 0.06 percent and also that that is from left and from the bottom we will pass 0 0.06 percent so now save it run it again 
so you can see our uh, legend is now shifted towards the little bit inside of the area plot and you can see it is nicely put so by this how this is how you can customize your stack plot so this is just one example you can do more kind of this using stack plots you can actually create uh, stacked stack plots those are actually sit one top of the other okay so as usual i will provide the uh, this uh, python file in my github link in the description of the video so i hope you like this video thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video